Amelia Emmons and Gracie Hill present our final JMU project, Melly and G's Wine Tours. You will indulge in Loudoun County's finest wineries and the breathtaking experiences they provide. The goal of our project is to design a wine tour to 10 different wineries in Northern Virginia. This wine tour includes a drive time route map to give people who take our tour directions and times to each winery, a soil analysis map that shows the difference in soil at each winery and how it affects the grapes grown, and finally, a guided tour that provides key information about each winery. Are you ready to taste some wine? It's time to meet your wine tour guide, Gracie Hill. Hi, I'm Gracie and I'll be your wine tour guide for today. Let's explore Loudoun County's beautiful wine country. We have split up the tour into four major regions, North, South, East, and West Loudoun. These regions will be important when analyzing the soil composition of each winery later in our tour. We will begin with our first stop, Fleetwood Winery. The historic Fleetwood Farmhouse was established in 1745 and the vineyard opened in 2018. The manor house was constructed by William Elsie in 1765. Enjoy the historic scenery unlike any other while sipping their 2018 Pinot Gris. This most popular wine is produced from Norton grapes and is a port style wine. It is produced and bottled by Slater Run Vineyards. Fleetwood is a part of the South Loudoun region of our tour. Our next stop will be a little more south at the winery at Bull Run. The winery at Bull Run was established in 2012 and is located next to the Manassas Battlefield. There are 42 acres of Norton vines, including Chardonnay, Petit Verdot, Merlot, Vignet, Cabernet Franc, Chambourchon, Tremignet, and Cabernet Sauvignon. Their most popular wine is a 2019 Delaney. This winery is the closest to Washington, D.C. The winery at Bull Run is a part of the South Loudoun region of our tour. We will continue our way north to Cana Vineyards and Winery of Middleburg. Cana Vineyards and Winery of Middleburg was established in 2011 after previously being a hay farm. The family-owned winery stretches across 43 acres of land between Aldi and Middleburg. There are 7.2 acres of land that are under vine for the vineyard. Cana Vineyards won the Loudoun County Winery of the Year Award in 2019 at the New York International Wine Competition. Cana's grapes include Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Ner Norton, Petit Mansing, Petit Verdot, and Viognet. Their most popular wine to try is the 2017 Unite Reserve. Cana Vineyards is a part of the South Latin region of our tour. Next is 50 West Vineyards down John Mosby Highway. Named after the highway the winery is located on, 50 West is a popular place to stop for 100% authentic Virginia wine. The winery gets its history from being located on Civil War battlegrounds. This winery is also fully solar powered. 50 West grows three great varieties, including Cabernet Sauvignon, Albarino, and Sauvignon Blanc. Their most popular wine, 2016 Aldi Heights Cuvée, was awarded a silver medal at the 2020 Governor's Cup. 50 West Vineyards is a part of the South Loudoun region of our tour. The next stop is an old world style winery known as Quattro Goombas Winery. Quattro Goombas Winery's unique old world style wine is unlike any other in Loudoun County. Quattro Goombas name means four pals in Italian, so bring your friends. Their wine is a blend of Virginian, Californian, and Chilean wines. This style creates an Italian wine that brings Italy to Virginia. Established in 2009, this winery pr prides themselves in not giving the traditional Virginia wine experience. Their most popular wine is the 2017 Vino di Nani. This winery is a part of the South Loudoun region of our tour. A little farther north is Stone Tower Winery. Let's go. Stone Tower Winery, established in 2009, includes 202 acres of vines, including red and white grapes. For white wines, Stone Tower grows Chardonnay, Viognet, Sauvignon Blanc, Marseille, Roussain, and Grenache Blanc. For red wines, Stone Tower grows Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, 
Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot, Malbec, and Pinot Noir. This winery produced 15,000 cases of wine in 2015. There has been three generations of the Huber family to call Hogback Mountain their home. Their most popular wine to try is the 2013 Hogback Mountain. This wine is a blend of Cabernet Franc, Merlot, and Petit Verdot. It was selected to be a part of the 2016's Governor's Case. Stone Tower Winery is a part of the East Loudoun region of our tour. Bluemont Vineyards was established in 2007. There are 30 acres of grapes including Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Petit Verdot, Cabernet Franc, Vignonier, Petit Mansing, Alburino, and Norton. This vineyard is one of the only wineries that allow you to rent a row in the vines to get the full experience. Many of their wines are Northern Virginia themed. This winery is a true up and close tasting. Bluemont Vineyards is a part of the West Loudoun region of our tour. Our next winery is up in the hills at Hillsborough Winery. Hillsborough Vineyards was established in 2003. The winery produces First Serva Dow, Petit Verdot, Tanat, Petit Mansing, and Cabernet Sauvignon grapes. There is 12 acres of land under the vines for this winery. The land was previously owned by George William Fairfax, a close friend to George Washington. Their most popular wine sold is the Opal 2016. Hillsborough Vineyards is a part of the North Loudoun region of our tour. Founded in 1983, Duquesne Winery is one of the oldest in the area. This winery grows Chardonnay, Pinot Gris, Merlot, Sauvignon Blanc, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Cabernet Franc grapes. Their most popular wine is the Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. The winery is a 360-acre estate featuring a placid lake lined with Adirondack chairs. Duquesne Winery is a part of the North Loudoun region of our tour. Our final stop is up on the Potomac at Terraro Winery. One of Loudoun's oldest wineries, Terraro Winery, is located right on the Potomac River. This winery will give you a breathtaking waterfront experience with live music. The land was discovered and founded by White Hubert in 1985. The winery grows Chardonnay, Viognier, Petit Mansing, Merlot, Syrah, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Tanat, and Petit Verdot. Their most popular one is a 2012 Cabernet Franc. Terrara Winery is a part of the East Latin region of our tour. This guided tour was created to give you key details about each winery and provide an outline of our tour. Each winery was hand selected based on reviews and popularity in the area. We will later discuss how the location and soil composition makes a difference in the taste. Let's now take a look at our drive time route map. An important factor into designing our wine tour was creating an efficient route that limits the amount of time and miles the tourists have to drive. Using ArcGIS Online, we created a drive time analysis map that discovered the most efficient route starting from the meeting point of our wine tour, Fleetwood Winery, and ending at the final destination, Tarara Winery. Each of our 10 wineries are symbolized by points on the map, with the actual symbols being the logos of each winery. During the creation of this map, we made sure to use the optimize order function when planning the directions and drive time to ensure the most efficient order of visiting the 10 wineries. Determining an efficient order of the wineries was one of the most crucial factors of our tour because we don't want our tourists to have to drive extra miles in time going from one winery in West Loudoun to a different winery in Northern Loudoun and then back again to another winery in West Loudoun. By optimizing the order, the tourists get to spend less time in the car and more time at the wineries. Another important detail that played a role in our drive time map was the time of day during which the tourists will be departing on the wine tour. Since we decided our tours would run on 11 a.m. on a Saturday, we made sure that to set the departure time and the day of the week to match this determined tour time. This was crucial so that the route our tours take on the wine tour is taking into account the time of day and the weekend traffic patterns. The final component of our project is a wine soil analysis. This soil analysis looks at the different types of soils and how they affect the taste of the grapes used for wine. The first step to our soil analysis was defining the four different types of soil, sandy soil, clay soil, silt soil, and loam soil. 
After researching these four soil types, it was clear that the best soil for growing grapes is sandy loam soil as it offers the best blend of characteristics. Sandy loam soil drains well but contains a good amount of nutritious organic matter and lies within the preferred pH range. In addition to sandy loam soil, silt loam and clay loam are also good soils for grapes due to their drainage. The next step of our soil analysis was applying our background knowledge of the different soil types to assign soil scores, which are scaled out of 100 to each of our 10 wineries based on the soil type they use for growing their grapes. After assigning soil scores to each winery, we discovered that Dukini Winery had the highest soil score of 87. The soil responsible for this high score is Percival Silt Loam, which has the ideal characteristics for growing grapes as described earlier in the analysis. Additionally, we discovered the winery with the lowest score was Bluemont Vineyards with a soil score of 26.3. The soil responsible for this low score is Cadoctin Channery Silt Loam, which lacks some of those characteristics needed to grow the best grapes. In conclusion, we were able to apply our ArcGIS skills to collect and analyze data and design a successful wine tour. Thank you so much for joining us along on this journey, and we hope you enjoyed the tour.